Alright guys, this is Dokken with another Minecraft video. You heard it. And today, bing, this is episode 86 of the Minecraft World Tour. Another bad guy sitting over there. What's going on? And guys, I've been busy crazy busy building and working on a project for over uh, I would say 25 to 30 hours now um, couldn't sleep anyways because I was constantly busy with a new um, YouTube content um, ID system and taking care of some of the videos that got flagged but by now um, I basically got it under control but it was um, yeah l huge workload aside of the regular stuff that uh, kept me back a bit. I wanted to make further progress, but I knew the next project is going to be huge. And yeah, it took a while. And yeah, we will look at it today. Um, and I'll explain everything to you. It's going to be pretty gnarly. All right. So get off. First of all, guys, I did something here. Ah, look at that. We have it all glassed in now. The whole uh, battery of... Um, guests here we use for the gold farming and yeah they're safe now and um, I like it a lot actually how it looks with this glass it looks like a huge TV screen if you're up in the control monitor uh, area and yeah if you look at the thing really cool one thing that bugs me out a bit from the tornado I was building last time we have a bit of a gap up there and right there as you can see there's a redstone block so I might end up doing some sort of pixel art back there to disguise it because I don't want to yeah, move all the tunnel we have you know the tornado for our minecarts to get down and yeah using this um, still looks cool and um, you can see almost anything and yeah let's quickly do a test here turn it on and yeah as you can see looks pretty cool with the yeah glass in front of it, it really looks like a crazy TV screen or something amazing so like it a lot, like it a lot, and now I, I'd say um, this thing is safe now. I haven't had them shooting at me from anywhere. I was walking about at the typical spots where they tracked me before, and yeah, so far didn't happen. Voila, works just fine up there, yeah. I have to go back there and work, but yeah, I was... <laughs> now it looks really cool how they're all looking. I was doing something completely different. Right now we are in Minecraft 1.74 and in Minecraft 1.74 a new mob was introduced and it is the Chicken Chucky. And me and the zip crowd guys did spend some time doing research beforehand and um, yeah, with the knowledge I gathered from this research I tried to make me a mob farm design that will help me get more of these guys because they are useful um, and I want to be able to farm them. That is the technical challenges I like. So yeah, this is the witch farm area. This is a map I made and all this gray stuff around it is new. I call it the battery. So let's go check it out. battery. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the name came from, yeah, you know, there's these mass production facilities for chicken, those, yeah, huge breeding batteries. And normally they are very, very, yeah, frightening looking. And, uh, yeah, you know, buildings there, you think, what the heck is wrong with this thing? And, yeah, the look for this build is exactly like that. It's not organic around this area here. Here we kind of went with a natural flow, you know, the witch farm and most of the things here are um, yeah, kind of woody, use some kind of wood, whatever color, but yeah, it is organic around here. So I thought right here we're gonna plant this factory, you can really call it a factory. Um, it's basically a huge mob farm, but with some special quirks to it. And yeah, I thought um, it's going to be a shocker in this natural habitat here and that's exactly the effect we were gunning for. And yeah, what did I make here? Why did I do it? I mean, you saw some of the things in the clips and we should look at uh, most of the mechanics right now so I can explain you a bit. Um, all is based on the new um, yeah, knowledge we gathered when we were uh, doing the research about the chicken zombies or chicken chockeys, um, knowing that they would... Um, yeah, spawn more frequent, uh, for a matter of fact, as twice as much if you have chicken around. So I thought, all right, I want to make a mob farm anyways. You know, I haven't made a, a basic mob farm in my world for quite some time. And now, when we have these chicken um, chockeys, it might come in um, really handy and it's a good chance to make it because, yeah, uh, maybe I can implement a chicken chockey farming setup right now. The design is not completely done yet, um, I'd say 80% or so. The main work at least is done. At the moment I have the witch farm switched off, uh, just have some torches in there so things don't go crazy. You can see one witch is sitting there, it spawned. And yeah, we have um, still the farm is based on our centralized collection spot which would be around this bed here or down below when I stand around the anvil and get the resources from the witch farm or I could also stand up here and have a nice overview mm -hmm. and yeah from here actually there is a nice overview on the whole whole dealio so um, where to start with that first of all I guess we should have a look at um, yeah the basic spawning cells um, we made um, I have a lot of night vision potions with me that should definitely help me and I have particles disabled at the moment so yeah um, we should just see better but don't have the particle effect well if you look in there now I mean it's bright and you can see there's spawning rows on both sides and there is chicken in there so let's have a brief look here and try to get in we just need to be careful um, to close it off otherwise chicken tend to run okay put that here for now so now it's uh, actually perfectly dark in here just so bright because of the night vision potion of course and yeah through these half slept gaps no light will pass through and we can walk in here and look nicely at the spawning pads and yeah basically using tripwire pistons and yeah as soon as something steps on this a tripwire here or on this yeah spawns on these these are the spawning pads one two three rows on each side with 16 each that makes 48 so yeah do the math so per cell here we have about around 100 spawning spaces which is really good and we can see some skeletons dropping back there so yeah they spawn in piston row gets triggered you can see the redstone line going on back there and they get pushed off um, if a baby zombie spawns they will be not detected by the system but will be pushed off immediately after the next mob spawns in or they will walk off and I will encourage their walking off but that is not fully implemented yet with villagers um, using them as bait um, which I also want to use to collect um, yeah, zombie jockeys that spawn in here and I had quite a bunch already hopefully we can get a, a few um, they can despawn because I don't collect them yet um, if they can pick up items though, um, because normally there's a bunch of eggs around this place here, they will pick them up and stick around. So I had a, quite a few actually already in here and it worked. So yeah, we found out within uh, 11 by 6 by 11 um, yeah, block around where mobs spawn, namely where zombies spawn, if there's chicken present, chances are that uh, a yeah, chicken zombie 
will happen and yeah um, one baby zombie will be spawned on top of one of these chickens here that is why we have the chicken in the middle and of course um, as you can see there's water below this is my filter system and um, because when a normal chicken zombie spawns on the spawning platforms that can also happen of course it will push be pushed off and we have the water filter here grabbing them and washing them towards the middle there um, but yeah we can of course access this area and check it out more carefully but yeah this is the basic principle works pretty well run run get away we have decent spawn rates. Can we try to toss through here? Yep. It works. I don't have to break it up. Alright. So, yeah. Um, all these segments are the same. Let's toss a pearl on top of the um, farm. And back here, you can see we have the same setup. Those cells coming over. And, yeah, we have several rows, of course. And around here... I installed a bait villager and did some first tests. <laughs> Eggs are popping out. Let's get on top of here and move out, inch out a little bit. Okay. So um, these two cells are connected um, with tunnels, but we will go in there. And we have a bait villager sitting here. This is my test setup. Um, and so far, when I had um, chicken chockies here, they got attracted by this villager on all three layers. So that seemed to work reliable. Um, we can have a look at that thing from the inside later on. For now, um, I'd say um, we focus on the filter system. And yeah, of course, the loot collection is also not 100% implemented, but you can collect loot, of course, already. So let's get out of here, away from the witches. And here I have, oh, it triggered just now. Okay, here we have several layers of yeah, maintenance, so to speak. Let's eat something real quick. So, right here, this is the first layer. And yeah, this is a chicken down here. And normally that means if you have a chicken down here, there might have been a chicken zombie. Um, um, the chicken zombies that spawn with a chicken, though, they are special. Those chickens can actually despawn. Um, here's another one. So those are just escaped ones from my building and not fully legit uh, ones of chockey, uh, yeah, of, of the chockeys, I think. I'm at least pretty sure. Although I find a bunch of them down here, here and there. But yeah, while I was building this thing, breaking out blocks, ever so often one escaped <coughs> and jumped down. Oop, that is a weird graphical glitch we're having at the moment. Check that out to do with the night vision fading out and particles deactivated. Look at that. Wow! That looks totally strange just now how it rendered. And my Minecraft just died on me. Wow! That was something that has never happened before. Weird graphical glitches happen and then it crashed. I heard Sespling reporting about that too um, to Dinnerbone. Oh, here's a little mistake that needs to be closed off. Uh, I don't have the necessary building blocks with me now. Cleaned up my inventory again, but now it's clogged. So yeah, this is the filter system. And how do we do it? Well, pretty simple actually. Um, let's try to swim over here a bit so I can show you, but we need to be careful not to fall down. Whoop. So the mobs, of course, get pushed uh, down in these slots. You can see that here pretty nicely. On top of me is a spawning floor and you have several ones. And yeah, when they get pushed, they fall through these slots. I tested it many, many times and it's reliable. None other mobs get flushed over here. And if you had a chicken jockey, he would be flushed over here and end up there. And I have all this glass right here for now um, to be safe. That um, if someone spawns in or if some of them spawn in so they don't suffocate in the wall. And hopefully by having this glass here for now, that I can prevent it. Later on, um, as mentioned, I want to use bait villagers to direct them around and to yeah, funnel them to centralized positions or I will use a minecart pickup system. I also considered that. Maybe from here, have minecart lines going through to grab them. So yeah, there are several options yet and we have another leg spike. Wow. Yep. And it's some new stuff with Minecraft 1.74. I think there might be some small bugs here and there. But this crash is a new thing. So yeah, this is the top level, which is also not 100% com completed. 
but we have the filters in place and it was a lot of digging and a lot of messing about and problem was I had to fill in a lot here because yeah we have had water everywhere and so on so it was quite tricky to be honest it took me forever but thankfully I have a lot of sand so with sand that can be done fairly quickly you just drop it down and you just have to do it so down here we also have a bunch of chicken those are all escaped chickens and um, that is for sure they didn't fall down here or something and yeah if you look about here um, we have these different chambers and you can see um, everywhere there's loot so this thing is working really nicely and um, where there is loot there is mobs and mobs drop and die yeah just one one died and I have the the golems down here as security measure um, because yeah hit points of the mobs can of course vary they, they could have different armor and so on and some actually could survive a certain drop height um, creepers are all the same I just made sure all creepers die for sure and the rest yeah gets annihilated um, by those guys here by my um, golems um, around here of course there needs to be a loot collection system um, Hoppers come in mind, um, maybe also hopper minecarts just rolling by here, acting um, as some kind of a vacuum cleaner, but it is a bit tricky to do um, Yeah, with all the um, iron golems around, minecarts might bump into them, so probably having a hopper collection system down here will be good. Um, although, you know, most of the loot uh, is not interesting for me, what I probably will collect in addition to my witch farm uh, drops here is probably the gunpowder because yeah gunpowder is something you can never have enough there's many good uses for it so yeah that needs to be implemented but other than that um, that thing is practically set up now um, as these um, cho um, chockies are really rare I mean they are rare we know that by now it takes of course a bit of AFKing and as not all systems, namely the collection system for the chockies, are not implemented yet, it's kind of hard to yeah, track if everything is working nicely. But I've been AFKing for quite a while, um, coming back and checking the place, and it was going pretty well. Do I hear? I hear a zombie. Where? Let's see can spot them it sounds like a grown-up zombie so yeah <coughs> what I've been doing is AFK on top of the <coughs> excuse me on top of my building here just waiting it out and ever so often going in there and check if there are chicken jockeys and yeah we kind of want to do that too now I mean it's just we need to wait a little bit let the farm run let's do an F3 check right now um, you can see we have, um, you can see the E up there, entities loaded um, in this area um, around us, how many entities there are. And you can see this number is constantly increasing. Mm -hmm. You also see the entity count we're looking at, it is the first number. And you see that depends where we look at. But this number is fluctuating mm -hmm. and that is also good, that means new mobs spawn in but um, get quickly killed off. And yeah, you can also see the number of total entities around is constantly increasing um, rather quickly. Um, that is, of course, um, we have more and more loot on the floor. Um, it is way more than this number, but as loot now clumps up, of course, you would save on some numbers. And yeah, you can see it's constantly rising. That is a good sign. You can see um, yeah, that the mobs are spawning in properly. And um, back there... Um, you can see a creeper is stuck. That is a little flaw of the system, how I have it implemented, because this is not trimmed on extreme efficiency. Um, you can see sometimes, or did he spawn in, in a spot? Oh yeah, he actually spawned in a spot that was not finished properly by me yet. Oh yeah, okay. So normally he would not spawn there. Um, we have these drop shoots there. You can see slime jumping it about. There's slime filters inbuilt into the system. Let's kill this guy right there. For whatever reason, I have a block in there. It should not be there. Oh yeah, I have some blocks missing here. Misplaced some. That needs to be fixed. But 
yeah, in the end, when it's working, then all the slimes, um, I can show you where I didn't misplace a block, um, over here, for example, you have these shoots here in the corners, and this is on top of the pistons there, is where sometimes um, slime do spawn in. And then they kind of, yeah, slowly but surely make it to the corners because we want to get rid of the slime. And then they jump down into these shoots, and for now, most of them drown in there. You can see one shoot here. And this is all the corners, and yeah, I don't have any uh, slime trouble in this mob farm so far. And yeah, and those are the main functions of the thing. Now, um, I need to work on the collection area and um, need to think about different systems I could use to catch them. But yeah, quite some resources went into that. I mean, I didn't solidly build it for the jo for the jockeys, but the jockeys were the final incentive now for me to yeah get going and start that project mob farm, so to speak. And yeah, let's look in here. Maybe we can hear some jockeys somewhere. And you have to listen a bit. You know, if you can probably hear. Um, high-pitched zombie noises that then is most definitely one of these guys in there Let's see we don't have one yet yeah um, as the chances are 0 0.25 uh, percent and yeah with using the trick of the with the chicken you can double that so 0 0.5 five percent chance to get one if a zombie spawns you need to afk for quite a bit and let this machine run for a while and yeah this is what we're gonna do now um, i'm just gonna let it run afk here for a little bit and yeah double check um, you can see there's quite some spawning going on back there mm -hmm. double check if we maybe get a uh, chicken zombie now for the video but i'm pretty sure it would be a shame if i couldn't show you one i saw so many already all right, so yeah, let's wait a bit, and then I'll check. All right, <laughs> we got one. Yo, are you a keeper? Come here, let's give him a bottle to hold. Can you? He should be able to hold it if he can. No, he's not interested. But yeah, we got one here. He's tracking the villager at the moment, and yeah, the villager solution I had there is was not perfect. I was just testing if they would... Oh, 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 don't do stupid stuff, don't suffocate. I was just testing if they would track him, and they actually do, which is brilliant. Which, yeah, while I was standing here, gave me an idea how I want to do the harvesting setup. I was not 100% sure how to do it yet, but I think I got an idea now. So yeah, this proves the concept, of course. This guy uh, was naturally spawned, he didn't spawn on a chicken, he was filtered out by our system here. Um, yeah, he's trying to go to get upwards because we have the villager there, that must change. But that worked, we filtered one out. Let's look about a bit, maybe there is more. Here is none. It's pretty easy to detect them though when I walk around here, because yeah, you will hear them... Um, um, yeah, with their high-pitched zombie voices, so you can kind of hear when they are close by. No, doesn't sound like one is here. We spawn really nicely at the at the f uh, at the farm. I was checking the loot before again, and way too much. That is good. If it's way too much, um, you win. Now I'm interested in something. I want to try out. We moved away a bit from the guy, and we want to see if the chicken despawned a bit with him. Maybe he despawned, let's double check. But then I will reveal the plan for the um, yeah, collection system for them. As they... Uh, Alright, he's still around. As they so eagerly track the villagers, we must exploit that. And I also have other ideas um, Yeah, how we could use that. So, um, I want to use villager in minecart. Um, and I want to use the middle slot um, where we have we have three slots upstairs where we have the chicken in at the moment. Let me quickly rush up and show you that. So those three slots, you know, one, two, three layers. And in, in the middle layer, um, we could probably take that out completely. Let's see if we can glitch through a bit. Mm, yep. uh, might take some tries. No, 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 no. Let's see. 
want to glitch through the wall. Okay, now this is the top segment. To get down a bit or up. Okay, then let's grief in from on top. Or no, let's grief in from the side here. Brought my cobble blocks for that situation. Okay, let's see. This is, ah no, this was the top layer. Ah, doesn't matter. We will release some chickens. Let's release the chickens. I want to get in there and explain you the principle. Freaking chicken. <laughs> so we got the lower layer here and we got the middle layer. Ow! <laughs> Let me in. Oh, you dang things. All right, here we go. So in this middle layer here, I think I will put in minecart tracks. And on the minecart tracks, I will have a villager in minecarts. So on the floor below and on top of me, the yeah, chicken jockeys we have there will most likely or most definitely actually track the villager. And the villager is riding in here and just, you know, in regular intervals, um, yeah, starts going from back there and rides out towards the front. And probably we will connect, you know, the side wings as well. I'm pretty sure I can somehow get that done. If not, we will have a separate villager tracking system for them in there. And yeah, then the villager will ride up in front here and the chicken jockeys will all track them like crazy. And we will have some kind of a trapdoor set up where they would run over and think it's a full block and we lead them out here a little bit and then they would drop there and we could collect them and have an upfront here where we actually are because that is the main issue right now with the testing of the farm. It works but it's very tedious for me to test because I have no real yeah, centralized collection uh, spot yet because I was still you know, yeah, bouncing ideas back and forth how to do that whole thing now. But yeah, I think that should work. Um, it requires some more testing. If not I will just have stationary bait villagers but it would actually be cool if we could make him track the uh, villager in the minecart and then run out and then we collect them from there. I'm pretty sure it works, 99% sure it should work. So yeah, that is the battery. Um, brand new principle, not really. Um, mob farm is a mob farm, but yeah, um, this one of course, as you can see I went for the flat design. Um, just want to keep the LC value um, low around my witch farm here. Don't want to build up too high and I think yeah looks cool Frames in the witch farm nicely it could be even extendable. You know, I, I was thinking I was contemplating making this thing even bigger like Frame us in completely like put another segment here put another segment there put another segment there So we have this gigantic completely over dimensioned mob farm um, yeah, so we encourage as many uh, spawns as possible in the shortest amount of time uh, to be able to spawn as many chicken jockeys as, as possible. But yeah, I'm not quite sure if I really want to do that. Um, if I can, you know, I AFK'd now maybe 10 minutes or so, and maybe I even missed a few uh, jockeys, but yeah, after 10 minutes and I did another check, I saw, uh, I heard, better say, I was teleporting up here and I heard some grumming back there and it was the one guy um, tracking the villager, so. 10 minutes to get one. Um, before, it, I even got two within about 10, 15 minutes. So it seems to be okay. Um, at least you can help your luck and influence it a bit and farm them in a little bit. You will not be able to farm them in mass quantities with the common techniques or, or you go really big and spawn crazy amounts, but as long as nothing more gets added or changed to their spawning behavior, I think this is the best you can do. Have chickens close by, spawn as many as you can. Um, good thing would be if you find a double, triple um, zombie spawner. Um, that would be of course also something that could be interesting. Um, because yeah, your rates go up because we exclusively spawn zombies. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd go for this approach, want to have a mob farm anyways. I hope, guys, you enjoyed this episode. Um, took me <laughs> many, many hours to build this thing, but yeah, in the world tour we're used to making big progress. So did we this time. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out, guys. Please leave a like. Bye!
you want to go to the um, spider grinder. Jump in, boom, minecart takes off automatically. Here I need some more booster rails.